Professor Stone, you are presenting a poster at the EULA on interim results of a phase two study regarding a reversible B cell inhibitors in IgG4 related disease. What were the objectives of the study and could you also tell us a little bit about uh, its conclusions? Okay. Well, the study tests um, a novel molecule called XMAB5871. It doesn't even have a name yet. Um, and uh, this molecule works in a unique way. It targets all of B cells, so not just um, B cells that have CD20, uh, but it targets all CD19 positive cells. And uh, the interesting part about the mechanism is that it binds, one portion of the molecule binds to CD19, which is on all B cells, cells of the B cell line. And then the other part of the molecule uh, binds to FC gamma R2B. And that is the only FC gamma receptor on uh, B cells. And when the CD19 and FC uh, gamma R2B are both bound together, that downregulates the B cell. So this is potentially relevant to a lot of diseases, actually. We've chosen to study it in IgG4-related disease, <clears throat> which is a relatively newly described disease, um, probably an orphan disease in the United States, but still not a rare um, disease. It's typically a multi-organ uh, disease, and the only available treatment for it uh, now, or the standard of care anyway, is steroids and uh, steroids have lots of uh, toxicity. So the ultimate goal um, of the trial is in this 15 patient open label phase two trial is to determine whether the, the molecule is active in patients with IgG4 related disease. So patients could be on steroids at the time of enrollment, but they didn't have to be on steroids at the time of enrollment. If they were on steroids, they um, had to discontinue their steroids within two months. And then the primary outcome of the trial was a decrease in the responder index, the IgG4-related disease responder index that we have created um, by at least several points um, and no additional steroids over that time. And what we found is very encouraging results in this phase two trial. Um, 12 of the 15 patients uh, did very well um, with very uh, stark uh, declines in their responder index scores. Um, three patients did not fare so well. One of them developed an anti-drug antibody leading to a hypersensitivity reaction. Well, the complex of rheumatic diseases encompasses various indications. Um, do orphan diseases also come up in this complex and uh, are there new studies in, in that particular field? Well, certainly, um, IgG4-related disease is an orphan disease, um, and uh, this drug may be useful for a number of uh, orphan diseases. Any disease, in fact, in which B cells are anticipated to play an important role. Uh, but not only B cells, because the, the drug probably also works indirectly but very powerfully on other cells as well, such as T cells. Um, so it could have a, a broad applicability to a number of orphan diseases. One of your clinical interests is the rheumatic disease lupus. Are there any new developments in the treatment of it or have you um, yourself conducted any studies in, in that particular field? Well, interestingly, uh, the other disease in which XMAB5871 is being studied is in lupus. And uh, there is a 20-center trial now going on in the United States, which is well into its enrollment period. And um, there are a lot of reasons for believing that this treatment would be useful for lupus um, as well. So there's a lot more going on in lupus, too, that I don't think I can um, summarize uh, in a short time. But that's, uh, lupus is a is certainly in many patients is a B cell driven disease and uh, so this therapy makes sense for that disease as well. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>